miles on a chalkboard does not even compare. And neither does getting up in front of a group of people and talking on some topic. In fact, the only thing that does compare to being bullied is accidentally cutting yourself with a really sharp knife or taking a metal pan out of the oven at 400 degrees with no potholders. It's that deep, aching, throbbing pain that nothing can cure. Shake your hands, run some water, do what you can, but the pain persists. Same with being bullied. Every time you see that person, you think to yourself, why did I even go into this hallway? Or why did I even begin to think that, that person would leave me alone? Or sometimes even, I thought this person was my friend. And you just wonder, what can I do? Nothing in life comes easy, including recovering from being bullied. People will say things that they think will help, but it really only helps them feel better about themselves. They helped, and that feels good. Going to my parents was not an option. They were always so busy with whatever was going on in the moment. Teachers, I think, looking back, would have listened to me, but I just wish I had trusted them enough to go to them about it. Not to mention the overwhelming feeling that I was doing something wrong that I was doing something to deserve the punches and the insults and the stalking. This was on me. At the time, it seemed so hard, but in actuality, it wasn't. For me, two things happened. One, I found a passion, and two, I forged new friendships. All it took was that one person, that one individual that introduced me to a different world, one with a team of other girls who may have also been looking for a passion. We worked hard, we laughed hard, and we shared experiences, success and failures, and what it would take to feel confident for who we were. A trust formed that would not and could not be broken. We had the same experiences. We were lifelong friends. So what did it really take? Step one, ignore the people who tried to ruin my life just to make theirs better. Step two, find joy in my new passion and the people who were involved. Step three, change the internal dialogue from I must be doing something to deserve this treatment to I'm the best that I can be and people will love me for who I am. And step four, live. I soon discovered that I did have the power to change the way I felt, that I didn't need other people to do that for me. Not parents, not teachers, just me. I can do that and I still do that every day.